Onmitsu, a word that refers to the art of stealth, to the gathering of information undetected by one's foe. In the era of the samurai, these techniques of espionage were pursued to their perfection. Part of this was Batojutsu, the ability to draw the sword without being detected by one's opponent, a feat which perfectly represents the concept of Onmitsu. This philosophy has endured from Japan's ancient history to be carried on through the incredible stealth technology of a brand new class of frigate, the 3-0 FFM. The FFM is equipped with an integrated mast, the culmination of some of the world's most advanced stealth technology. The integrated mast, first utilized on the FFM, combines a multitude of antenna working in concert. Introducing Unicorn. The Japan Ministry of Defense had been hard at work developing a new frigate. The new naval ship, known as the FFM, would be a 3,900-ton class frigate for multiple applications, a downsized vessel with the ability to take on various roles that increased personnel efficiency and came equipped with advanced stealth technology. The FFM's design would be bold and innovative. But nobody had given any thought towards the antenna's functionality. Naval ships require a wide array of antennae. These antennae are generally situated in an exposed manner high atop a mast. This makes them easily detectable to enemy radar. An approach like this would make the stealth requirements of the FFM impossible to achieve. The first person to tackle this problem was the man entrusted with overseeing the development of communications equipment at ATLA, the organization responsible for the development of the FFM. He knew making the vessel stealth would require integrating the antennae under a low RCS radome. The sales manager at the manufacturer responsible for defense communications infrastructure was also conscious of the issue. マットの統合化の話を提案しに行った時は、もうあの、FFM には間に合わないのかなと思っておりました。防衛装備庁の技術者の方からは、FFMで統合化しましょうという話をいただいて、あの、驚きました。その言葉をいただいて、あの、私自
Unicorn's integrated antenna provided a remarkably simplified approach for onboard installation. Unicorn can be installed by simply bolting it to the ship and connecting its cables. The integrated construction of Unicorn also has great benefits when it comes to transport. This is because a specialized rack mounting system allows for smooth attachment and removal. Transportation and storage can all be carried out with Unicorn attached to this rack. Since the antennae are protected under the radome, the risk of damage is already low. However, even in the rare event of malfunction, a spare stored on shore could be used to quickly replace a unit in order to get back to the mission as soon as possible. The malfunctioning unit can then be fully repaired to be used as a spare itself. This rotation greatly increases overall operational availability for the vessel. Development continued to progress smoothly, but a new problem arose. The problem was Takan. Takan is a system to coordinate the courses of landing and departing helicopters, usually situated at the very top of the mast for maximum range. However, the Takan transmits a powerful signal, making it easily detectable. The project members began to tackle this new challenge. This allowed the Takan unit to be repositioned at the very bottom of Unicorn. The new placement ensured that the Takan unit would continue to be able to transmit smoothly in all directions. This incredible stealth technology would effectively reduce the radar cross-section of the antenna by half, with a possible reduction of over 90%. The concept was like shrinking a kimono, a traditional Japanese garment, down to the size of a sensu folding fan. The Takan unit was now well within reach of engineers, allowing the quick and easy replacement of the module in the event of malfunction. The Takan unit's new position at the bottom of Unicorn opened a new space at the top of the apparatus. This new space became the home for the most critical antenna on the vessel, the ESM. This elevated the ESM from its original position, extending its range all the way to the horizon. With this, the Unicorn project reached its completion. Unicorn finally achieved its place atop the FFM. Onmitsu, the evolution of stealth technology, achieved by the indomitable spirit of the project's developers. This project was made possible through Japan's renowned technical expertise. And the name of the man at the center of the project? Tsunoka, a Japanese name meaning the antlers of a deer. This is the story of a man whose name represents the antlers of a deer and a team of dedicated staff who created the One Horned Unicorn for the world. Equipped with Unicorn, carrying on the legacy of the Samurai Onmitsu spirit, the new frigate, the 30 FFM, is about to embark on the high seas. Mm -hmm.